So you just watched a video on Rococo's new AI video mocap magic and you're like, I wanna do that for myself. The first thing you do is you're gonna upload your stuff to the thing and then you're gonna press open Rococo. Wait, this is online? Can you download? No, you can't do it on Rococo Studio. You have to do it online and then you have to port it into Rococo Studio and then you have to deal with it saying, internet connection lost over and over again. Anyways, I'm just, Rococo, listen, I get it's free, but it's, it's gonna, but that's okay. Finally, eventually, you will get, magically, you'll get it. It'll happen, you're gonna get your Rococo animation into Blender and you'll realize that it's, it's barely passable. It's, it, 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 I guess it could do the job. It's kind of, it's there, I guess. I, okay. So people told you that Mixamo was good. Well, let's find out if that's the case. Is it gonna take 20 years to load? I don't freaking know. Oh, Adobe? Yep, no thank you very much. How about this, Accurate? Oh, baby, stand alone and import your model. Work on your own damn GPU. I love it. Yes, it's great. Now, does it actually work? Does it, does it get your characters in such a way to where they're gonna be posed up. Yep, looking pretty good to me. All right, that's looking pretty good. Look at him doing the gymnastics. Now you're gonna step over to Blender and you're gonna download something called CC Tools. Link will be in the description because if you don't use CC Tools, you're a loser and you won't be able to rigify. Nobody wants that. Girls won't like you if you do that. You're gonna click on import. Where's import at? Find it, import character. Now click on your dude, rigged up, import. Make sure to import the animations because at the very bottom here, you see this little keyframe. This is Satan, okay? You gotta cast him out. Boom, get him out of here. Now you got yourself a T-pose, but is it really a T-pose? Or like everything in American politics, is it a lie? Boom, an A-pose, look at that. It's not a T-pose at all, but that's okay. Cause then you're gonna download some Something called cats. Links in the descriptions. You're gonna click on your armature. You're gonna click on go to pose mode. And when you go to pose mode, you're gonna see something change right here. Oh, didn't change. That's because in armature, you have the wrong one selected. Click on regular four and a guy rigged 001. Bam, apply this rest pose. Boom, you're gonna click out. You're gonna go to object mode. And there it is. Now, when you go into edit mode, you see that nothing changes. But what, what's more is you wanna make sure that his nips are right there. Don't, don't worry about the nips. Anyways, control A, apply all. Just make sure the scale is applied. Well, also, what is all this crap here? We, we get, get this out of here. All right, now you wanna click on CC tools, go up here to rigging and animation, rigify, boom, rigify, right there. Gonna make you a man, instantly. Well, actually, it takes some time because, hey, becoming a man takes some time, so don't rush it. Bow, there we go. We got the rigify up here, and we can go ahead and just play with it because every time I do this, I have to just do this move right here. Love it. And, and real quick, shout out to CG Dive over there. I think I might just link him in the description because it was this video right here that gave me a lot of insight on how to fix this. The problem is though, is when you actually go and you manually set all of the bones because building the bone list doesn't work, it will not save. No matter what you do, it's gonna be wrong. And when you click retarget animation, you're gonna get something not retargeted. You're gonna get something retarded. Look, here's the thing. Fine. Listen, I'm gonna um, be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> okay, enough joking around. How do you actually fix this? Well, if you see over here, it will actually save the old skeleton when you click Rigify, and it will save that apart from the mesh. You can take this and you can move this off to the side, or you can just leave it where it is. I find it's easier to move it off to the side. You're gonna retarget those animations from Rococo skeleton to the Accurig skeleton. Now, the way to do that is to click in the description below and just download the JSON file because I've mapped these all up correctly. You can actually just click right here to clear out all your data. Make sure that's clear. Click on import, and then you're gonna download the folder that's in the description, and there's gonna be Accurig names, no rig. Click on import. Now click on build bone list, and it should be absolutely perfect. Then make sure you check off auto scale or keep it on, it's up to you. Now that's gonna retarget all of the Rococo data over to your Accurig skeleton. It's gonna be kind of a proxy. Now, just in case there's something wrong with the JSON I sent you guys, just take a look at my list right here. Screenshot now, scroll down to the bottom, screenshot now. And as you can see, it's gonna copy that Rococo data pretty good. Nothing a little bit of Rigify can't clean up. But of course, we gotta go ahead and do the second part. And now you wanna show the Rigify skeleton. And it's pretty easy. You just go back over to the Rococo plugin click on your skeleton from Accurig. Now click on your Rigify. 
Then you want to clear, once again, all your settings, click on import, and click on the second file that I'm gonna give you, which is the Accurig over to Rigify Boneless. Click on build boneless. Now, now this is one thing that the bone root over here should be empty, and I don't know why it's not saving. Rococo, please solve this. Why isn't your saving actually saving the bone list? It's super annoying and it's just like, it shows such unperfect, I, I'm not gonna rant, just it, real I, <laughs> hours of my life. Anyways, so just go ahead and click that out, okay? And all the rest of these things you could actually fill out if you have facial data or if you have a more advanced skeleton. But from what I've seen from a Coco video, this is all you need. I'm gonna try to show this in the screen here so you can take a screenshot, screenshot right now. Scroll down and screenshot again. And then you're just gonna go ahead and click retarget animation. Boom, there you go. Now you got all your data from Rococo over on a Rigify skeleton. Now I did find that it's a little bit less uh, accurate than the Accurig version, but because it's got IK on it and it's a fantastic way using animation layers, you can correct that so easily and I really love it. So that's how you do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and doing all those other things. I hope you download the stuff and click on the things. All right, this is Dr. Quads. I'll catch you next time.